Today we're looking at Benjamin Moore's Swiss Coffee, one of my all-time favorite off-whites in paint, period. This top is sort of inspired by it, I think. Oh, kind of close. Real-time color matching. What's great about it is it's soft, warm, subtle, and just very versatile. I'm gonna tell you all the ways that I like to use it on my interior painting projects specifically, but also some exterior ones as well. And not only that, I've put together an all-new color palette based around Swiss coffee, so you have three potential wall colors to go with it, and then two trim and door and woodwork colors too. That sounds like fun, right? Maybe you can just press that like button for me and then we can just get on with it. Cool. So first things first, if you are familiar with Benjamin Moore paint, you probably know their white and off-white paint colors because they're some of the best-selling colors in the entire company. Swiss coffee is no exception. Super popular, it has been for a long time, but not to the point that people are sick of it. It has this wonderful sense of balance to it as an off-white. It doesn't have too much of a bright feel that can be obnoxious. It also doesn't have a ton of colorant where it'll just go into a different direction that you might not have been expecting. Its LRV is also in a great spot. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. LRV is something that I talk about all the time. It just stands for light reflectance value, which is the percentage of light, of actual light that reflects off of any paint color. You can kind of think of it as a lightness scale. So from zero to 100, zero being black and then 100 being bright, bright, perfect white, Swiss coffee is around an 82, like 81.91. And that may not sound super bright, like there's still like 18 points away from 100, but in the paint world, that is quite bright. It just has a subtle softness that makes it so pleasing to the eye. And Benjamin Moore does a great job describing it. They say it's an essential white with just the right amount of warmth. It's the best way I could describe it. Anytime you're looking for an off-white that's soft around the edges and it just goes really well with other warm aspects of your decor that you might have, like natural woods and organic materials overall, and you're just going for that more holistic feel, this is always gonna be one of the first off-whites I recommend. Sometimes when you go too bright, especially if you're a painter, you know this, it takes a lot of work. I mean, three, four, five coats of paint sometimes to get it right. It's hard to upkeep, and it just can be way too bright in any areas that you have a lot of natural light coming in. Sitting at that 82 LRV here though, it's kinda nice, like it's sort of, just pleasant enough to coexist without really being obnoxious and having fluorescent walls just making you go crazy. <laughs> One of my big recommendations typically is whenever I'm using Swiss coffee on the walls, sometimes I just like to continue it onto the trim as well with the appropriate trim paint and sometimes even bring it onto the ceiling too. So you have this really seamless cohesive look that some people might think is kind of a cheap landlord look, but I enjoy it. I think it's more subtle. It's a little less is more, I would say. But for everyone else that maybe wants another trim color option, just stick around to the end because I got two of them for you. Let's talk about some updated color pairings and build a Swiss coffee color palette for the modern era. I'm always in my Swiss coffee era, not gonna lie. So the first color we're looking at is Wicker Basket. CSP-255. The CSP colors by Benjamin Moore are their newest color collection that they have currently. First of all, they were designed for Aura. They also contain a ton of different colorants. So something else might have one, two, or three colors. Wicker Basket has like five or six different colorants that make this neutral color so nuanced. And yes, it is a neutral. It's sort of this tan color that has a bit of brown, a touch of green, very organic feeling, which is nice because you might have some wicker baskets around your home already that can kind of play off of this color. To me, it's not as bright as true wicker, but I feel it would coexist amongst all those natural materials really, really well. Now keep in mind, it is quite a bit darker, especially compared to Swiss coffee. The LRV is 37.3, so definitely a darker mid-tone, but perfect for those secondary spaces where you want a little more oomph, but still feel warm and fairly neutral so that the other things in that room will stand out more. Plants against this color will really pop nicely. The next color is kind of like this actually. And I know we're only on color number two, but I want to bring in some color hue here. It's called Pine Lands, and this is an even darker color. It has about a 21 LRV. It's definitely rich, 
yet still kind of peaceful and relaxed and chilled out. It's sort of a mellow forest green. So it's not as rich as you can get with like your deep emeralds and all those jewel tones. It has a sense of restraint that I really enjoy. It will be kind of an accent color though, right? Because you're starting with an off-white and then this tan color, this is green. It's pretty saturated as a color, but I think it really fits the mold when we're talking about all of these, you know, warmer, uplifting materials, your wickers, your woods, your rattans, your jutes, all that good stuff. Really interesting mudroom color, I think, you know? <laughs> Just a nice section off area that can give a really good first impression to anyone, I guess, coming through your garage, maybe. <laughs> but it's more than that too. You can use it in dining rooms, more of a secondary, tertiary color. The third color, however, is the accent, which is interesting because it's nearly as light as Swiss coffee. Not quite, but you'll see. Campus grass. When you hear that, you think, okay, grass. You got more green for us, James. Great. No, it's actually not green. I almost see it as a very light, chalky, pinky lavender color. And it's the accent because it might be a little polarizing to certain people because of that pinky purple aspect, which isn't really the first hue that we think of when we're picking colors for our home. But it does have that muted quality to it. You will notice the pinky purple. I'm not gonna say you won't. But I think within this palette, it just gives you another option to really differentiate yourself in those rooms that you really want to accentuate. And that's why I think even more so than Pinelands, this is a color that I would probably restrict to one room. Or if you're doing, let's say, two side-by-side -side bedrooms, could be a good choice as well. Don't be fooled by its lightness. It's not the color that I would say, oh yeah, go and paint your whole house with this. Light accent. So, so far a pretty interesting color palette, I think. And of course you can lean on Swiss coffee a ton and just have it mostly throughout your home. But I do think I've given you quite a bit to work with just to get you started. But before you leave, you gotta know about trim colors because when you're painting your walls, always paint your baseboards and give your doors a nice refresh too. So the light option is gonna be Simply White just because it's simply a brighter, warm white than Swiss Coffee. You're gonna have some contrast because Simply White is a brighter color, but I think for a lot of people, like I mentioned earlier, you might be better off just continuing Swiss Coffee on your walls, onto your trim. Wall paint on the walls, trim paint on the trim. For my darker trim color, I'm going with Tapestry Beige, which is actually more of a grayish than a beige. The gray aspect almost gives it this slightly cool undertone too. So it's a little bit more of a complimentary trim option, especially for Swiss Coffee, but I think the two look really nice together. It's not quite as matchy-matchy as other choices. It is a very distinct choice, but I think they look great. Well, let me know what you think. What does this palette look like to you? Does it look like a winner or a loser? <laughs> Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join us for monthly membership to help support us even more than you already do. You already do so much for me by watching these videos to begin with. Speaking of videos, here's another one, like magic.